The U.S. Marine Corps is all in on fielding mobile anti-ship missiles in the Pacific to challenge China's growing navy, declaring it in written testimony to the Senate Armed Services Committee's Sea Power Subcommittee to be its highest ground modernization priority. The designation of the Marines' ship-killing ambitions as its top modernization priority comes as the Marine Corps is going full steam toward reorienting itself as an extension of naval power rather than the lighter version of the Army. The Marines are moving out on rapid fielding of at least two ground-based anti-ship systems, according to recent testimony in fiscal year 2021 budget documents. The Navy Marine Expeditionary Ship Interdiction System NMESIS, which pairs its remotely operated ground unit for Expeditionary Fires Drone Vehicle and the Navy's new ship killer naval strike missile. NMESIS uses the Marines' high-mobility artillery rocket system. Hammers, on the chassis of a remotely operated version of the Army's Oshkosh-built Joint Light Tactical Vehicle, loaded with the Kongsberg Naval Strike Missile. The second is a ground-launched version of the Tomahawk Missile, made possible by the recent U.S. withdrawal from the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty that prohibited Intermediate Range ground-launched cruise missiles. The Navy, along with Raytheon, has been developing a ship-killer version of Tomahawk cruise missile. Maritime Strike Tomahawk, which incorporates a seeker and some level of target discrimination so it can shift mid-air to it a moving target. The Tomahawk has an unclassified range of about 900 nautical miles. The Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force JMSDF, inducted its first lithium-ion battery-powered Saryu-class diesel-electric attack submarine in Hyogo Prefecture. This is the 11th Saryu-class boat to be commissioned by the JMSDF. This class of submarines are Japan's first to be fitted with air-independent propulsion systems that enable them to remain fully submerged for longer periods of time. These submarines are said to be the world's largest conventionally powered boats. They are an improved version of Japanese Oyashio-class submarines. The J or you joins the JMSDF submarine flotilla 1, based in Kur. It is the first in class boat to feature lithium ion batteries. The boat is the second in the class to be fitted with lithium ion batteries to store more power than older Saryu class submarines. <laughs> India's state run aerospace company Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL, is looking at setting up logistics bases in Malaysia, Vietnam. Indonesia and Sri Lanka as part of initiatives to woo the countries to buy India's light combat aircraft Tejas and military helicopters. Chairman of HAL said the HAL is now seriously focusing on boosting exports in sync with the government's priority and identified Southeast Asia, West Asia and North Africa to sell key platforms like Tejas. Attack Helicopter Rudra and Advanced Light Helicopter Drove. The HAL top executive said the company is looking at setting up maintenance facilities in these four countries as having logistics bases is key to sell the products and ensure after sales services. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you like the channel and want to support, please support on Patreon or PayPal. The details are given below in the description.